the life force energy that an orgasm can create. I tried it one time and it was like an awkward feeling for me, so I couldn't, um, I was trying to send it to each chakra. I was like reading a book and trying to send it to each one at a time. And I think I got like up to here and I was like, okay, I can't do it anymore. And it's really hard to do. Probably 20% of the time, as I'm about to orgasm, I think, and I'm sending this, and I'll send that energy with, with, uh, with intention as offering to the deities I work with. It's all about, you know, self-love, really. Is, is what it is, and so to be able to connect an orgasm to um, a lower chakra or a higher chakra, it's just really about soaring, you know, and, and feeling absolutely fine with indulging in as much pleasure as I can have. I am not sure if I have that full connection with that energy in relationship to my breasts. There are moments where I'm like, oh, but I definitely don't feel trained <laughs> or experienced. I never thought to channel it back at me. Let's take this energy and send it to my back. Connecting with spirit just makes, just makes the orgasm and me and spirit just like one. So it gets like bigger than just, um, you know, a genital orgasm. Cause that's like, that's almost like candy. You know, you always want more. But when you connect to spirit, it's like a deeper experience, and it's, it's cosmic. I think our breasts are a sort of, um, I'm not sure of the, the right word I'm looking for, I'm thinking conduit to a greater spiritual something, which is very apparent to me during lovemaking, because I'm transported. So whatever that is, whatever that life force is, that energy, that you know comes from from my breast being touched or kissed or suckled um, whatever that is I don't know what that is but it's not normal everyday energy <laughs> it is something else <laughs>